Hello. Question. Hey. It's been a long time. How's everybody? Yes. Well, like two years in pandemic time, so. I found it extremely relaxing to have our break, so I appreciate that we did that because, oh my God, Christmas is wonderful, but it's a lot. It is. I mean, oh. we were just all talking about this, but I feel like I've like forgotten D and D and forgotten what I was doing on the stream, <laughs> so I have to remember all my evil plans. Oh no! You forgot what evil <laughs> things you were doing. It's okay. I remember them all. Oh, us. <laughs> Probably had an extra week to think of more evil things. Uh, I did I'm add. Remember who I am. I did add a couple. So, how are your guys' holidays? Good. Good. Apparently, oh. since I do show and tell on the hangout, I brought a show and tell. The um, sister made oh. me a gnome. And oh! <laughs> I thought so your hand was covering the head, and I was really no. confused. <laughs> no. yeah, it's a little gnome. Um, okay. And it's you can't read the tag because of my camera, but it's a brain gnome, which is like a brain weasel. <laughs> Um, okay. in that they, they sit there and they're like, you really suck. Um, so he has <laughs> no mouth. And also he comes with um, a bunch of voodoo pins and the voodoo pins <laughs> say things like, I'm freaking awesome. So you it's can awesome. like stick Oh, him. that's cool. <laughs> she made that? Yeah, she made that. That's it's wonderful. It's actually out of a sock. He's a little Oh, that's a great idea. Is it a used sock or a new cool. sock? Uh, I, I believe it was a sock without a mate. Oh, so. okay. It's a good lonely use. sock. <laughs> it's yeah. a lonely sock. Now it has a but new life. lonely no longer. Shay, yeah. I will join you in the kilo of prawn sash shrimp club for uh, <laughs> that is also what I did. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a, there's like no mobsters and stuff in my fin books, and so I have a few a few gnomes <laughs> and uh that have accumulated over time, but because he was like on her work Zoom call and telling them how there's gnomes all over the house. And there's one in particular that I bring out at Christmas that's pretty tall, like two and a half feet tall and set him in front of the fireplace and I turn him so he's just like when she sits down it's always just like looking right at her <laughs> <laughs> anyway so she was complaining about it on the call so then I got the idea I started hiding it all around the house oh no so like, oh, no um and my favorite was uh so we have you know the cupboard where all the coffee mugs and stuff are I literally like took all the mugs out took the shelves out and everything so I could fit this giant gnome in there so when she opened it there was the gnome. <laughs> what was her reaction? <laughs> That's pretty epic. I mean, you're still alive. Mostly it's so. like, yeah, mostly it's just shaking her head at me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. And yeah, yeah. And a couple of times I got a, a you know, a, an exclamation. I feel like she needs to come I up with like a stronger the, I won't deterrent. Say the words, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. If she didn't actually want in. you to do it, she would, she would, you know, have a much stronger deterrent for that behavior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. It would be smashed by now. Yeah. One time, I, yeah, I, I, she was taking a nap, so I laid it in the bed next to her, <laughs> next, looking at her. So when she woke up, <laughs> oh, <laughs> lovely. she wanted you to stop. You'd find lovely. a gnome head in your bed. <laughs> yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. On top of that gnome in the bed was my move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. We had a nice visit. We all quarantined long enough so that my family could come over. And so it was good. The kids were all very grateful and excited. And no tantrums, which is always good. Oh. Not always doable because it's a big holiday with lots of emotional expectations. <laughs> and if you don't understand what those are because you're a child, it gets tough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sounds like a Did regular. You ever have... Sorry. Go ahead. Did you ever have a Christmas where, as a child, you. There was just one thing you really wanted. Just one thing. It didn't matter anything else you got as long as you got that one thing. Red Ryder BB gum. For some reason, that's like, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. Man, I just get fallout too. Every, every year, I wanted it. I wanted a pony. I wanted a horse. No, wow. Really? Yes. Small ass. Yes. Oh. Wow. Um, and I kind of knew it wasn't going to happen, but I always had this like fantasy of like, Santa leaving horses in my front yard. Oh my how great god! That would be, and and I did not think about how we were going to take care of these because we lived in the suburbs, so it wasn't <laughs> like we were just going to pop them in the backyard and stable. But yeah, 
That's pretty funny. Briefly in did, second grade, I got to take some writing lessons, which did not last long because those are expensive. Um, but it was the greatest, the greatest thing my parents ever did for me. Oh, man. Now I'm like, okay, I don't, it's, we ride a horse and they're really tall. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't like to listen to you. Yeah. So that passion is, uh, is less there. I feel like, uh, did you at least get some of my little ponies? When you... Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think my mother still has them. I think my nephew plays with them when she watches them. I did see, so actually, I did see several of them out um, when I went over to her condo the other day. Um, but I feel like uh, you talking about how expensive horse lessons are, like, there have been multiple times in my adult life where I realized how pricey things that I did as a kid were. And I yeah. am just like, how does anybody afford children? <laughs> Uh, they're uh, so expensive see you get a kid like mine who doesn't want to do anything and then you don't have to pay for lessons <laughs> oh, nice. yeah, you just encourage it so, he's got to share your hades account God, oh. gotten farther than me and he keeps showing me stuff and i'm like sweetie i love you but i want to be surprised <laughs> yeah no spoilers like you need to go tell your dad your dad doesn't care he's not gonna play this game what game <laughs> hades hades mm -hmm. hades steven it's only like the hottest game of the year. Really? It just dropped well, like since September. He, this is the guy who didn't know there were romance options in Dragon Age, so. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh I totally forgot about that. <laughs> it's delightful. Um, okay. Uh, is it a PC game or what? Mm -hmm. I have it on Switch. It's on everything. No, it's, yeah. Is it super demanding? No. For the I mean, computer? okay. It's a roguelite, so it's like the procedurally generated things. And when you fail, you have to start over at the beginning. But that's the oh. point. Because you are the son of Hades, and you're trying to escape the underworld. And your dad is like, okay, go ahead and try. You're just going to die and start back over. <laughs> and maybe you'll learn your lesson one of these times. But we just yeah. know that you're getting better at it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's got all this delightful Greek mythology happening. That sounds cool. All right, I'll check it out. Ooh, there we go. Yeah. Now I'm super bummed. The voicemail I just went to listen to. Um, I was gonna get the antibody test. Um, because Fred Meyer does them now, and you just like okay. pay for them. And I was like, hey, that sounds cool. I want to know. I don't have any particular reason to think that I might have them, but they ran out of supplies, so I have to reschedule next week or something. Oh, Rhiannon, you're getting a shout out from the TTD Academy. They said oh. that you said nice things about us on the Sci-Fi Thoughts podcast. Oh, <laughs> cool. I'm, I'm, it's awesome that um, somebody has come, like my two uh, halves of my hobbies are intersecting because <laughs> I talked about the stream on the, the podcast and then now the podcast comes to the stream. Awesome. Uh, I want to know exactly what nice things you said about us, <laughs> like especially compliments about each of the individual members, but especially me. <laughs> Well, to know what actually made it into the edited interview would mean actually listening to my own voice, and I don't, don't do that. Um, oh, yeah, whenever I funny. like rewatch the old episodes, uh -oh. I like mute them until somebody else is talking. Um, so I, I mean, I believe I was talking about the stream in terms of like because of writing career and in 2020 writing career, ah, but like stream and connection <laughs> and community. <laughs> so. Oh, the mods also want to get uh, want you to give them compliments. Did you talk about them? What nice things did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Quick, <Mikhail. laughs> we have the best monitor and very funny and charming. Yeah, but uh, just between us, you don't have to tell anybody else. Like, who's your favorite? Uh, who's your favorite groupmate? <laughs> and why is it not me? <laughs> No, see, what you have to do is um, actually for the um, channel, you guys should know, I f finished the first draft of the short story that's coming. So a couple weeks and it will be in your hands. Anyway, so what you have to do is you have to read those and then see like who other than Artemisia, because obviously Artemisia is going to, you know, make it. Who else dies? And then you'll oh. know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You Which kill us say, off? Because I didn't kill anybody in this last story. But you never know the next one I might. <laughs> well, well, well. Maybe somebody else is going to write a story where they kill your character multiple times. <laughs> I love the idea that this turns into a passive-aggressive feud where we all just start yeah. writing fiction. 
<laughs> or we just, you know, murder each other's characters, I guess. And, and clone and resurrect and murder each other's characters again. <laughs> Do it. This one's in a different um, dimension. Guess who's alive? For now. If, if Rogar were evil, maybe he would encourage that and then charge you for the resurrections. Like, you know, oh, wow. encourage a bunch of infighting. <laughs> I was in a DD group where it was a homebrew. It was Susan's game who did Thieves Night. Um, but our cleric was wanted to be like he wanted to be like a like a Wall Street cleric. So he was like the god of greed what? and so he tried charging us five gold for heels wow <laughs> except i was the paladin so i could do it too did but you undercut him laced, so i was like fraud no oh i was hoping you undercut his prices stole his customers no, no vidania and cecilia are very different Well, we um, need we we need some kind of like um you know doing the full mirror <laughs> universe goatee sort of version of everybody. I think we Zoom. have our doppelganger episode, Maybe. but yeah, something yeah, we know more explicitly Swan's evil. Song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, doesn't... now we need wrong everybody else. <laughs> I swear, Zoom has like these new options now. Hold on, they are you updating. serious? <laughs> yeah, like I swear this could happen like right now. Hmm. What is that? Video filter? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's under video filters. They don't have very many, many good facial uh, facial hair options. This might be the only one, actually. Is mine doing it? I mean, there's. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I look very dapper with this. You do. It suits you. <laughs> you should get one in real life. Oh, if only. What's this do? Oh, that's weird. Hmm? I have butterflies on my face. I would be screaming and slapping them right now. <laughs> They're very beautiful creatures, but they feel creepy. They do. Is that under video filters or whatever? Yeah. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Mine doesn't yeah, have I've any. I've done... Oh, well, maybe if you update. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Aaron. Oh my god. Your Why kids are getting. Show me this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, I have a bird. Ooh, His name is Percival. Hello, Percival. <laughs> what tricks do you know? I don't actually know what bird tricks exist. Uh, eat, poop, fly. <laughs> well, we they, do, they do a little like bobbing. Do a little of. dance. Yeah. We had um, some friends. They were a couple of professors that Kevin worked for. My husband worked for after he graduated, and I was still in college. He was doing post grad work. Um, that had a cockatoo um, that they had trained <laughs> to like. If you held her out over a trash can, she would shit. That like, is amazing. Always, oh, that was the bird's trick. T Tia, Tia was the name of the cockatoo. They were delight. They are a delightful couple. But my favorite thing is that their names. I'm not making this up. They're a married couple named Doctor Smart and Doctor Grim, and I always wanted to write a comic book, like a silly comic book about Doctor Smart, Doctor Grim, and the Cockatoo of Doom, because it was like tailor made for that. But I don't know what else Tia can do besides poop. <laughs> I feel like yeah, you're I'm, just... I met okay. somebody's bird that they smuggled into a bar at one point. That was. Like, a little crazy because she had her jacket like zipped up this was a friend of friend i didn't know her well um and so you hear this like and and i was like your cell phone is very like naturalistic and it's rings and then like finally she like unzips it a little enough to like you know sort of check on and this little like parrot head like pokes out because it had been like hiding in her jacket <laughs> and it, it was it was a little parrot like about yay high so it wasn't no like super big but i was just like wow okay it's not like you have like one of those african gray parrots <laughs> yeah oh, my car on your shirt <laughs> and that is why eric is the most merciful and understanding dm <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh i've been listening to you like this whole time don't oh, oh, oh. try and do it that now <laughs> oh okay <laughs> man i feel like our our stream looks like it's split between team evil and team good right now like Eric, me, and Steven look like we're on the dark side for sure. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm in the middle I'm ground, true. trying to, 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 you know, bring the two sides together. <laughs> yeah, it's just up to you sure. now, Aaron and Rhiannon. <laughs> Good must win. Well, I have a Hades game that I'm missing for this, so if you guys are just going to oh, destroy wow. the city, maybe I'm going to... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you ever wanted to stream you playing Hades, we can make this happen somehow. We'll figure it out. You stream from a Switch? Um, I believe you can, but it would take a little bit of doing. Probably like no. There's a capture card you could get. Um, don't have any real interest in playing it on on a on a PC. Yeah, I kind of really. I would have to put it on my work laptop, and I would really fight putting games on my work laptop because it's dangerous. <laughs> it is. I feel like I would love to see like a run of like you versus your son, but I feel like that that would just be <laughs> one-sided okay. perhaps. I honestly don't know how good he is specifically. I do know he... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Eric, you Ooh. are the world. I am the ghost of Westgate. As well. No, no, it's, it's the newest Chuck Tingle novel. <laughs> oh my God. The, the city looks like your hair. We, we won't say the first part of by Westgate. Pounded in the dice bag by Westgate. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that terrible. That's the oh, name of this uh, episode, I think, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, so I know that he's done more attempts than me by a significant amount. Mm -hmm. So uh, it might just be he, he makes more time for video games than I do. I had to play D&D &D okay. yesterday. I didn't get any Hades time in. <laughs> that was fun though i liked that I and i like this D &D i tease but mm -hmm. i like this so i wore my can you see it yes you can i wore my sorcery shirt mm. it's the magic excellent yeah speaking of extra magic and all that stuff um we've added some custom rewards to the channels uh you can check them out by clicking like the little uh, channel points icon in the lower left of the the chat um, it should look like a little gold lion coin. And uh, there's various options there, but um, you can give any of us inspiration, for example, including the DM. You can give players money, like if somebody is in like dire debt and you really want to help them, you could do that. Um, you could even summon a Tarrasque if you viewed view this uh, stream for long enough. Um, but that one is purposely very expensive. <laughs> Just too tall. That's that's what the issue is. I'm just the camera can't capture my whole body. Um, there right. are no channel point rewards to make Eric shorter, unfortunately. No, sorry, we tried that. It didn't work out very well. Not very popular. Yeah, happy saving up, Shay. I actually said it so that people can redeem it. Uh, like multiple people can redeem it on the same stream if they want. So there could theoretically be more than one. Although uh, by rules as written, I believe only one exists, right? Yes. <laughs> Although if they don't wake up that often, how do people know? True. True. But also, we don't need. We don't even need one. There is an adventure out there that I saw one time called Planet Tarask or something. Is everybody in please tell me it's an adventuring party of Tarasks? Yeah. Uh well, I think it's a you're an adventuring party of normal characters and just the planet is mostly inhabited by Tarasks. Well, that's a crap planet. <laughs> yeah, basically. Did we the show off the get cool off the ice planet? yet? Did that happen? Uh, no, but I will. I mean, we can talk about it if you want. Um, Rhiannon hasn't seen hers, but I'll show her a picture oh, of well. hers. You all can see Rhiannon and see it for the first time. <laughs> yes. So Yang Yang didn't create, but had created these very cool D20s, Ooh. which have different things inside them. This one has a little coin, which if you can see that, it's the little Dungeon Scrawlers logo there, right? The little sword and the, oh. and the quill, and yeah, there's I have a book one. that has that on it. On it. Custom jumbo D20s that are little, transparent. Little book, mm -hmm. right, with the logo on it. So, yeah, Sturge's little like poker cards <laughs> and the skull inside. I've got uh, the hammer of love. Oh 
man. Inside mine. And a yeah. heart inside mine. Bone rod. <laughs> oh, nice. I've got like a little baby Mirabelle inside of a die. Aw. And then like a loot. I don't know if you can see the loot. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's actually showing up really well. It yeah. is doing yeah. that thing where you're putting your background in it, but the loot stays. Yeah. So I, I believe Rhiannon has uh, one of the two, a couple of those waiting for her at some point. Mm -hmm. And should we mention who made these fabulous dice? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, so Randy and I actually have this friend who lived uh, locally in Washington. She used to work for like a special effects shop making those uh, like dead bodies that you might see in like movies and stuff. Um, but she quit that job and she started her own little workshop and she wanted to make custom dice. And lo and behold, uh, I saw her post on Facebook and I was like, I need to order like eight of these. <laughs> and here's like all the art from our stream. Um, and so she tinkered, so, so she watched the stream, looked at her art, and then tinkered around with various prototypes. And uh, these are the ones that we ended up with. Um, I think we'll try to post more pictures of them and talk more about it uh, in, in the future. Are these the sort of thing that we could put in our merch page? Just, oh, absolutely. Mm, yeah, that seems like a <clears throat> a high rolling opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to her about also uh, creating some to do as like giveaways, and we could either make them like little books inside of dice, or if she wanted to do like a, like a theme of the month, you know, like a terrarium inside of a die, gnomes inside of die. Drama Albert, drama Albert. Drama Brilliant. Albert. <laughs> yeah, the sky's the limit. I don't know how balanced these dice are. They're very um, well balanced. Hmm. Except for except for, for you, Eric. <laughs> yes. yes. Don't, just if because keep they keep coming up low on this. Yeah, that's weird. Who yeah, well, you making uh noises in World 20, Steven. Okay. Yeah, I'm that's like, uh there's that's noise Steven prepping. Alert somewhere. <laughs> Alerting. Yeah. Bloop. What's that? Bloop. Yes, we have some uh, some roll twenty shenanigans planned. So, I'll uh, we'll drop her shop link um, into our Discord, and you could chat with her. She's actually in our Discord as Teacup, and teacup. I believe her shop is called Teacup the Creator on Etsy. Cool. Huh. Yep. While we're sitting here, I'm I'm actually going back to my. Whoa! I can't see that with the. Uh, my old character notes, all the stuff that's actually in Sturge's backpack and things, I'm, I'm finally taking it off of this piece of paper and putting it on um, Roll20. Oh, nice, so, nice. Yeah, it's kind of fun. It's like, oh, yeah, I forgot he had that. Uh, like what, Steven? Well, like he has three juggler's balls that are... Um, have continual flame cast on them, and he keeps those in a pouch in his, you know, side, mm -hmm. uh, because he can't see in the dark. Especially since his sword, <laughs> turns out, was way past its warranty. Just, just don't <laughs> tell the enemy anything you have that might be useful. Yeah. Okay. No. No. Just little things like um, <laughs> hanging with his evil grin over there. He has a belt that um, uh, with studs on it, and each stud is actually. Uh, a lock pick that slips out of the what? belt or a uh, little saw blade, you know, so that if he's ever like captured, he'll have these studs in the back behind his back and his belt. And if they don't take his belt off him, he can get those little lock picks out and lock pick his own lock. <laughs> of course, so, now that he's got Misty Step, it hardly matters. But um, so he's got that. He's got his plague doctor mask. He has a lead-lined ring box just in case he steals something small and extremely valuable and trackable. Um, he has a little bandolier with his heal potions on it. You know, stuff like that, just so it's there. <clears throat> well, you just better hope the first thing that they don't do when they capture you is take off your belt, Stephen. I know. Well, he's also got these, uh, they look like nipple rings, but they're actually locked. What? Under his skin. What? <laughs> Is like everything you wear just actually a lockpick in disguise? The lockpicks are inserted under his skin and, and he just... <laughs> what the heck? You, can, you should see what he can do with his nose. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Whoa. The thing's hidden in his nose. Oh wow. my God. No one ever thinks to search there. 
Has your nose actually been just like a lock pick this entire time? <laughs> <laughs> it's prehensile. Oh, Rihanna, it's cat. Hey, uh, I'm gonna see if I can uh, do something about my camera. If my video drops for a second, it's not gonna mess anything up, is it? No, and uh, we actually have to go to the recap screen anyways, and then we'll be back point. in five minutes. Bye.